The Ottawa Senators uh, have signed Dadnoff to a three by five million dollar a year contract. Which is a super savvy deal. Uh, like, I know he's 31 years old, but he has been consistently getting mid-20 goals, mid to high 20 goals, and 70 points a season. Um, so to only have to pay 3 by 5 obviously people weren't super keen on him um, going forward. So yeah, well done, Ottawa, in this deal. Like, yeah, they've, they've now almost hit the cap floor. They're 137000 away. Every other team's hit it. So this whole, oh look, Ottawa's spending money, well, not yet, they're really still at the floor, so still a long way to go for them, but they're getting there, they're getting there, uh, Stutzler coming in is probably that difference there, um, but he's obviously broken his hand, so he's, uh, his development will be hurt by four to, four to eight weeks, um, hopefully the easier side so they can get some games in Germany before he comes across, I'm assuming he's coming across, but we'll find out, I guess, um, but yeah, Dad, not, what a deal, what a deal for the Senators, like I'm actually... Um, kind of happy for this market and, uh, and, and fans there, usually the fans that I, I used to, you know, have on the podcast and, um, you know, people that were in the know a little bit, um, they were super nice. And a lot of the dealings that I've had with the other Senator fans have been very nice as well. Um, so yeah, I just stoked for them really, like really, I'm just stoked. Um, this is a great deal uh, with a very little upside that you can even trade away if they're not looking the goods in a couple of years, even though they should be starting to make that step with all their draft picks coming forward. Uh, but yeah, what a, what a deal. I'm, 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 yeah. And like, this is a top line player in this league. It, it will be top line here. Um, yeah, I, oh boy. It, it's exciting times. There's still a lot to do here. There's a lot to do here, but when you add Stutzler, uh, Dadnoff, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Matt Murray, like, oh boy, it's starting to, it's starting to look attractive. But yeah, so I guess they're making a run, uh, at, at, at just not being bottom, bottom dwellers. Every can Canadian team's gotten better. And, and I made a video that it looks like there's even more, uh, rumors of an all Canadian division. So that's going to be just a fun division because every single team added this year, um, significantly, like significant pieces they added. Uh, so yeah, all of them seem to be in on the fact that like, no, you know, we got to, we got to keep up with the Joneses and, and just be as good as the other, the other Canadian teams. I think the thing I really love about this deal is it's not long. It's not long. Like it, if he doesn't work out, they're not on the hook for six years and it needs to be one of those buyout deals, even though there's no evidence that he, that he, um, that he won't. His points were down a little bit last year, but that's because of obviously they played less games. So he was on track for nearly another 30 goal season. He's just consistently around that 70 point mark. So, uh, yeah, great. Just a great deal. Like I just didn't think this team would have it in him. I honestly thought another team would have given him a lot more money. I'm not sure what the terms are yet, whether there's a no trade or no movement, but yeah. So Joe Thornton, uh, been confirmed is playing in Europe. Uh, until the NHL season gets off, so he's definitely coming back. Um, not that there was much news there. Uh, a few reporters, Chris Johnston, I think it was on the Steve Dangle podcast, reported um, that uh, it, you know he kind of like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I wouldn't be surprised if Thornton comes to the Leafs. Um, and obviously the Sharks are in play, but apparently a lot of the Maple Leafs have reached out in to say like, "Hey Joe, come on down. It'll be fun." Um, so yeah, so really like, it looks like right now that's between, uh, that's between the Leafs and the Sharks at, at this very moment. So yeah, and not to say that there's, there's not a, you know, deadline trend because the Sharks are going to be terrible next year. They're just going to be, they're just going to be woeful. Like there's not a good team there. Um, it's just, it's just aging. Um, uh, actually, I mean, they might be okay, but like down the road for their future, it's not looking great. Um, so yeah, it's just, oh boy. Anyway, guys, uh, that is the whole video. If you did like this video, hit the like button. If you've made it all this way and you have not subscribed, please do so. It really does help us out. We're up to 262 now. Um, so, yeah, it really does help out for every sub that we get. Otherwise, comment down below. What do you think of these deal, uh, the Dadanoff deal? Do you think Thornton will end up at the Leafs? Or do you think uh, he's off to, back to San Jose? It, it's, yeah, it's interesting stuff. He seems pretty loyal to the Sharks, but I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he has one, one crack. One crack at it. Although they have $10 million contracts on the Leafs, and uh, there's a video that I'm doing right now that that is like just a plague on this league at the moment. It obviously won't be once the cap goes up, but yeah, just the percentage to that deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the team records with having a $10 million uh, player on the lineup is not amazing. Um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you. Bye.